I went out to the truck and got my snow melting kit. I don't, uh, I know it's a shame to, uh, have a stainless steel pot that isn't covered with soot, but I, uh, generally, um, heat this with alcohol or natural gas so it doesn't have a lot of sooting problems. This is a 16 centimeter zebra pot which the way zebra makes their pots it's 16 centimeters tall and 16 centimeters across which is a this is a really nice stainless steel pot uh, but the question that came up somebody had um, a zebra pot that uh, was sent to them and these corner clips had been taken off and these clips are uh, they clip on this pivot point. And you can take these off pretty easy just by spreading that plastic clip to the side just a little bit and it'll pull it'll pull straight out. What these do Zebra Pot ships with this small insert which could be used as a frying pan they call it a steamer pot it fits right into the top and it won't go any for any lower than that but with the lid put on there as you lift the handle up these flip out as you lift the handle up these plastic clips come in and grab the lid and it'll also hold that handle up if if your insert is in there without the insert these plastic clips don't go in and grab right now these crap plastic clips are holding that lid on. It's tight. It's holding this this handle upright, and it's um, get a close up of that. Of how they're put together. If you got some tin or some stainless steel, you could probably make one fairly easy even if you had uh, uh, um, if you got a plastic 55 gallon barrel you could make the plastic into the right shape then you could form it with a little bit of heat you could form it to make the hook but you're a metal worker so uh, uh, probably making one out of iron is what's uh, is what you'll end up doing I would guess people take these off because if you put them in a fire if you put this pot in a fire the plastic clips take a serious beating but anyway now that I got the video running um, what I normally normally carry in here I got uh, I got two Trangia stoves that uh, I carry them full got me a plastic little flask from uh, Walmart these were these were on sale for about a dollar so that's full of alcohol I've got that in there these are those flavored water there's like Kool-Aid, but it's not. Mio, Mia. They hold an ounce and three quarters. So I've got... 
a bunch of alcohol that I carry carry in the pot with me. This here, there's two things in here. Uh, one of these is a uh, um, it's called a Mojo. Actually, it's a Mojo number two, version number two. Uh, pot stand. It's three panels. They're all they're all cut alike, and they clip together, and they form a triangle. It fits the mini trangia, and um, forms a pot stand. And in here and here also is a nine-panel windscreen that'll form a big circle, big enough for that 16 16 centimeter zebra pot, which is pretty amazing, really. That's a big pot. I got a big pot because. Uh, um, this is a snow melting kit and um, you need uh, when you're melting snow you need a lot of volume because uh, um, you got about a, a 10 to 1 ratio um, if you put 10 cups of snow in a pot you're going to end up with one cup of water so um, big pot is, is what you need to, to process all of that. I've also got, I also have uh, two other burners in here. I have this one, I have this one set up because it'll, it's a burner and a pot stand combined um, and it's also set up so that you can, uh, um, they have a kit, the manufacturer has a kit that you can uh, that you can use, but I, I cut me a piece of uh, brake line and gave it a custom bend. Brake line fits through the hole. Come on. Fits through the hole. It puts the lotion on its skin. There we go. And then it's it's bent so that it comes back down here level. The hose the hose fits onto that. The other end of the hose fits on to the bubbler. This uh, my regular alcohol bottle is out in the truck, but I didn't, grabbed everything else but that. But it's uh, it has the same neck. It's a so, it's a soda, soda bottle neck, and uh, this bubbler was made by uh, Hiram Cook. Um, he sent it to me for, as a uh, prize, but you could you could make one really easy. He's got uh, a video on how to make it. Um, also, but the only thing that you really need to buy is is that brass nipple right there. Everything else is uh, hardware store uh, common hardware store stuff. There's two PVC fittings that are inside of each other the uh, the inside one is grooved so that it uh, it goes down to the base there's a uh, bottle cap glued to the inside of that fitting and it works the same way as a uh, uh, turkey water or a um, an office um, a water stand, water cooler, as uh, it'll it'll seek its own level. The base, the level of this nipple, will be the same level as the fuel inside your stove. It works pretty slick, and if it gets, uh, if you raise this up higher, you could flood this out completely. But then that's what you have a, uh, a stopper here for. You need to uh, uh, extend the fuel nipple out away from it. Otherwise, you'll you'll have a heat problem, and your uh, your your rubber tubing will um, self destruct. Um, if all else fails, I carry three three pieces of heavy wire. These are cut so that they'll sit they'll sit inside of the trangia um, as a triangle, and then they'll then they'll fit uh, 
uh, they'll form a little uh, pot stand. Um, if fancy fails, simple always works. This is a uh, brand name Trangia. Um, it's the um, it's the handle for the Trangia cook set. And that works really, really well for grabbing for grabbing the lids off things. Also, that's just a uh, just a little piece of trivia. The wooden stick was uh, was an awesome, awesome deal too. Uh, if you're using this pot with uh, um, if you're using this pot with this other one, you're going to need. Uh, this is made by GSI, I believe. Who made it? Nope, this is made by MSR. And it's a, uh, um, and it's their generic grabber. And then you got a handle, handle that'll fit on it. The only thing, the only thing with this is, uh, this is only rated at eight pounds. Actually, actually, it's only rated at six pounds. And a gallon of water weighs eight pounds roughly so this 16 centimeter pot while it'll pick it up while it's empty if you've got this full of water um, you're severely overloading the rated capacity of this which you might actually get away with it 10 times but the time that you actually need it is when this is going to come apart and uh, um, you're going to end up with a lap full of whatever you're cooking so uh, if you're gonna if you got a big pot and you want to use something like this you should all you should really have two but this is my other pot this is made this is a genuine China made stainless steel alcohol stove this is a big this is a big version of a pop can of a pop can stove it's made out of heavy heavy stainless steel uh, it's got an aluminum insert that doesn't uh, that doesn't affect anything else uh, this this will hold about three and a half ounces of fuel it actually hold closer to five ounces of fuel, but if you if you light this with five ounces of fuel in it, you're uh, you're gonna have um, fireworks because it's gonna it's gonna heat up and it's gonna boil out of these holes, and then you're gonna have fuel all over all over the base, and it's not gonna be a fun day because as soon as you have fuel across the base with a lit stove, you're gonna have burning fuel across the base. But this is a um, this is a really good bargain if you especially if you want a uh, a snow melter. This is a big 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 stove, and um, if you're melting snow, you need a lot of heat that lasts a long time. So um, that's why I got that. Plus, it builds in. It comes in and it it's. Um, uh, it's these these legs fold in on itself and it'll grab a hold of your rug too if you if you let it you push down on them and then you push the legs in and then it's got a carrying case that uh, um, it stores away real well bad bad part of this stove uh, compared to the Trangias is that uh, uh, actually the bad part of both of these stoves in my opinion is that you can't store fuel in them you have to you have to store them empty um, if you uh, if you finish your your cooking task and you still got fuel in there then uh, you don't have any choice but to let it run out burn out with this one you can pour it out but with this one here um, 
you're you're pretty much set on letting it burn out so that's just wasted fuel with the Trangia you can throw you can throw the lid back on it and uh, and snuff it out and then you can save your uh, you can save your fuel and with the Trangia you've also got a uh, uh, ring that um, that you can neck down the, the flames a little bit if it's uh, if it's more heat than you need right now but uh, yeah with the o-ring there's an o-ring underneath the lid you can store your fuel uh, fuel tight so that's my uh, stuck in a ditch snow melting kit and this is already a long video so I'll uh, I'll say this is it. Bye.